Hey there, and welcome to another video about installing or updating OpenFun in case you didn't know know it. Uh, the latest version, OpenFun.com, now version 23.12 was released recently. So in this video, let's address the installation as usual, how our series, which is just an update of the previous uh, video. So if you already installed version 2306 following our instructions, this will be extremely easy because pretty much nothing changed. So here you have the instructions, everything, and as usual, I will use Windows existing Linux with Open uh, OpenSUSE 15.5. It is exactly the same steps as you're working with Linux, nothing changed, but just using this interface in Windows as I'm working on my personal computer and I don't want to do the dual booting for, for Linux. So in the video description also you have this file where you have all the steps. So basically you have here the steps updated for the version. Uh, <clears throat> for the latest version of OpenFun, as I say, nothing changed. It's exactly the same. There will be just one KFAT now at the end uh, that is uh, an error, but we will address that. So basically, remember, you, need, you have all the step there, so it's just copy and paste. So I will do it real time. So you need to download the file. So I already download everything. So now let me extract everything. There you go. Now the other one let me extract everything there i put everything there and it's extracting the files and uh, let me here open another terminal and also remember that you need to update your bash rc to point out to the new in the new alias so here i already added the my new alias this is the way i like to work so some people like the environment there so it's up to you but the only the chance that you need to do in bash rc is add the new alias that is more than okay and then we're here so we go of 23 12 it will give you this warning meaning that it's not compiled you go to the directory and at this point there is one step here when you go you have all the instructions if you follow the previous video you already installed this so there is no problem also in the web page there will be some here you have also some documentation there might be some extra libraries that they will ask to install but also they, they are already installed here requirements automatically but if you find yourself in some problems no these are ffmpeg and this is stuff but they are already installed automatically but in any case if you find problems you know that you have that file there so any case at this point phone system chat put it there and if it doesn't complain you're ready to go you have everything so this is very important look at that it's telling you that you have everything all the requirements and now we can go and compile so this will compile in parallel so here we'll use all the cores. So it will, will be relatively fast okay so i will let it run real time okay so and then well if there hopefully there will be no error so let's wait a little bit and yeah see you later Okay, so we're done with the compilation. No errors, as you can see. So basically, remember that if you follow the previous video, pretty much will be out of the box. Just follow these instructions. So at this point, let's create this directory, which already exists. You go there. Now you go to tutorials. And here you have this step that just pay attention to what is going to happen here. So this one is going to run some tests and you might or you might not get this error 
okay so don't pay attention to this and it's still tracking this one the compilation everything went fine but this is related now to to the latest version so it's just getting these two critical errors don't know why it's not getting this and well telling you that gcc is not an install which is not true no obviously you compile everything you have it there but it's just related to to the versions and the standard and so on so don't pay attention to that and tracking that error and at this point i think we're ready to go so let's first be before because the next step will be part of you so as usually recommend that it's better to install the pre-compiled binary you have there the steps so download it and that's all but if you want to compile i'm going to show you as well because also the compilation is straightforward you shouldn't get any errors so let's go here just to do the first test icophone then the classical cavity uh and there you go, you run block mesh, you run icophone. Uh, and at this point, I don't have part of, part of phone, but I have part of you, so I can create this file. So I have the precompiled binary, so I have it there. This is my alias, and now I can open. Close there. So. Uh, why, 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 why? Da, 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 da. Ah, okay. I gave so. Da, 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 da. Oh. Ah, yeah, yeah. So it's Dodge uh, case dot phone. Five U five eleven. And there you go. You have your solution, velocity, pressure, and there you have your BCR player. So at this point, let me do some cleaning here. And let's go back to the installation directory because now we're going to address uh, part of you. So to install part of you, you need to go to the directory search party. Okay, let's go there. Be and we're here okay so this will be the last step so we go here and basically very easy just type this and it will do everything if you have all the libraries now and there you go so let me go there it will do all its magic so as you follow the previous video okay you or if you install open from 11 you should have all the dependencies so this shouldn't give you any problem uh also if you want to install a newer version so to the date of this recording this was the latest one but you have also the nightly build the release candidate so it's up to you so i'm using file 11 but nothing changed and at this point let's wait a little bit Okay, so at this point, no errors. We have the compilation of Paraphone. So just pay attention to the screen. Just type that commander. And at this point, I will go Paraphone. Will give me a warning, but it is running. So at this point, we compiled Paraview, you know, Paraview with the Paraphone plugin. And I have to say that, yeah, we have the whole installation. We are going to run another test, just a sanity test that I always like to run. But I want to remind you that there are some other stuff that I did in the install. So as you go, for instance, here in models, you have, for instance, pet C, like, like I didn't install that solver, CF mesh, and many other libraries. So, so it's up to you to choose how to install them. Uh, if you are interested in Petsy, probably you can follow the previous video. It will be exactly the same. And actually here in this video, I think at the end you have the instructions. I recommend you to stick uh, to stay with the with, with the same version. Okay, there is a newer one, but I said with the same version. Probably we'll prepare a video about that, but it's pretty much the same. That being said. Let's run another tutorial just to test 
now everything is working and we're going to do it in parallel so the other tutorial i want to i like to run is the motorbike the classic motorbike now it will be also snappy everything it will run with six cores the default values okay so at this point i will launch everything and let's wait a little bit and well see you later Okay, so we have a solution here. We have you now the task manager, everything running in parallel, which by the way, I'm using this hybrid architecture Intel, and you can see that it's using now the performance core, the efficiency scores, it wasn't using that. So that is important. So you lose performance at this point. Let's go part of film build int. As we compile it, we have everything. And just to check that everything is running, the compose case, I can access my decompose solution. And there you go. You have everything. You have your velocity field. Uh, let's put it somewhere there in the middle. Uh, the cop plane. And you have it there. So, perfect. Everything is working. We tested. And there you go. So, you have the new version installed ready to use so the big question do i need to install that it's up to you as you see the installation is, is straightforward so if you already have it you are not going to have an error honestly speaking there are not many uh big uh improvement there is one that it worth trying which is meshing so all the improvements is minor stuff uh the big one i think it worth trying is uh meshing that you have here is not the x mesh so they are adding new new options trying to control all the, we know that all the problem is always the boundary layer so they're adding new controls honestly i have to say that i still have a i have a better a better workflow and a little bit tweak the snap x mesh version to change some parameters but yeah they're get, getting there to get something full automatic so yeah, this is the, the new update. Uh, I hope you find this video useful and also do not forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you have questions, just use the comments. And well, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.